Oops. I don't know, I was super nervous. <laughs> I made some cinnamon buns, so <laughs> please, please eat. <laughs> mm. Emotional support. Today is a special day. Today is a very special day. Vivi is going to be setting a boulder for me. So she's been setting for like eight months now. Once a week. <laughs> Once a week I have to add in. Like uh, Nikian said, I started setting like, uh, yeah, October last year, but I've only been setting once a week. So I still feel kind of like a noob, like a beginner root setter. I mean, I'm challenging myself more and more. So uh, yeah, I'm excited, but I'm also pretty nervous because it's hard to like determine if something's like too hard or too easy when it's also above your limit. Uh, I already put up the boulder or there's a first draft. I, I, my, my goal was him for not to flash it. <laughs> oh. I have to walk slower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the blue boulder, Vivi? Yes, here it is. That I've set for him. It starts on the, well, uh, on the left side. Okay, so this is, uh, this is the start. Uh, so it's a run and jump into like a double Gaston. Uh, and the idea behind this is so that I could use this specific hold. And I put this on so to make, hopefully we'll make it a bit more low percentage for him to just like blast off and get the two Gastons. Um, I, I thought about just putting a full dual text hold here because he does that to me sometimes so I, I wanted to <laughs> make him feel what I feel but I, I decided to be nice in the beginning because I think the rest is going to be quite difficult as well. So these are the two holds that I chose for the start. He asked for like bigger holds because his fingers are not like quite 100% so I added quite two quite juggy crimps, just put them together quite narrow. Um, I don't know, and then <laughs> that's the idea behind <laughs> that. I haven't managed to do this yet, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Ooh. I just needed the, the Eco Beer power. <laughs> yeah, so that's the start. And then the idea is to come around and press and then swing out on this dual text and jump up with that pitch. This is the next photo hole that you have to jump off of. Uh, again, with the trend of dual text, <laughs> a la Nikken. <laughs> so here's the pinch. Nikken asked for big holes, so I give him big holes. You could actually do like a double catch. So once you get into this position, I believe you want to have like a foot uh, on the left volume. Uh, and then come in and match, get a really, really um, high foot, like, bah, and then match, like that, <laughs> to be able to get his right foot on there, and then press, press into the finish. I've been watching a little bit, um, sneaking some peeks, and uh, kind of starting to like, get an idea of the beta. I haven't been listening too much, but I've just been watching kind of what she does with the hold and how she's holding it. I think I have a good idea of what I want to do on my flash go. So I'm going to go into the gym and kind of recruit just for that, because I have some specific exercises that I do. So the first exercise is to kind of recruit like the fast twitch muscle fibers. Um, in this case, it's a move. It's a very horizontal kind of move. So for that, I'm going to be working on kind of explosively loading as well as introducing a lateral movement. And then I jump to the other leg, land with a bent leg, absorb some of the force, and then push back onto the starting leg. So often it looks like this. So for me, I focus on when I land, the foot comes first, and then I'm thinking that the knee is tracking over the foot directly so that the knee isn't either bending in or bending out which is gonna put a lot of like lateral force on the knee that you're not really gonna want. So it's really just coming in, landing, the knee tracks directly over the foot, and then also when you explode, that it follows the same path up. Such a big part of when you're doing coordination moves in this way is that you're throwing the body, you know, into space, you're gonna be flying, and then you wanna be able to have confidence in landing where you want to land, and to land stably and also to you know, land in a way that you can continue the movement. I think the most important thing to think about when I'm executing a move like this is that 
the primary movement or the primary mover in this and force generation is going to come from the glutes so that it's not the knee or the ankle that's going to be taking on too high of a too high of a load so i think it's really just start from the easiest version possible and gain comfort like become comfortable in the movement before increasing the load in intensity to a point where you're maybe not ready or that the coordination isn't there yet cool so before we go Back to climbing, I figured I would show how to make the movement more intense. So for that, I take some kind of pole. It could be a squat rack, it could be a power rack, and that you loop it through one side, and then you're gonna be attaching it around your waist like this. And then a very similar movement, except you start with this already stretched out, and then you drop in, and then do the same explosive movement just that now you also have the added resistance band to make the movement more intense. That is both landing, requires a little bit more stability and force, and also to explode out of it takes also a little bit more power. Give it a shot. I've been doing this for a couple months now and I have found I've really enjoyed the results that I've got from it and the stability for the sessions. So give it a shot, drop us in the comments, let us know what you think, and uh, I'll just and, uh, go flash. Are you gonna flash now? Uh, maybe not, try and flash. <laughs> I love Zenotex, Zedultex, it's so pretty. This is like the first time I'm really looking at it. And this is a really high first hold to step on. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> nervous. <laughs> but uh, I'm confident in the first move. All right, <laughs> have you tried it? Yeah, I did it, so. Okay. <laughs> super, super tricky to jump around the corner like that. So I think I'm gonna have to get, jump up onto the pinch and just hold that a bit and recruit and kind of see which position I want the body to be in when I land. It's, I, do, I do not think I'll be able to stop like that going from the corner. It'll have to be, I mean, a very, very precise jump. So I think what's probably gonna be more, more believable is that I come in like this. I wanted him to like suffer a bit more. <laughs> so, yeah. But we'll see how it goes from once he does it from the start. But I, I thought that the end would be like tricky. So I was actually kind of close to falling there on when I matched in on this, when I had both the feet up. I was actually like the weight was starting to go out and I was able to save it and pull it back in. But I think we, I'm gonna try the crux move a little bit more to see if that needs to be tweaked in any way. Oh. Since I started with like the hardest version, I'm gonna make some tweaks to make it more doable. So I changed the, the hold that you're jumping to to a much better hold. It's kind of like a in between like a jug and a kind of sloper kind of hold type of hold. <laughs> And then I twisted around the, the dual text to full text uh, to be able to sort of actually use the volume a bit more. Uh, and then I'm also gonna add a little crim uh, on the, around the corner so that it has something to pull into and then like come around. Yeah, now I feel confident. 
So I it's think now with the changes, it should be a lot more doable. So I'm excited to see like how many tries it'll take. Come on. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's super cool because it was like, you need this to stop the rotation out, but then you, afterwards you like you fall very naturally back into the left one. It was very cool. It was like a much more violent than I thought it was gonna be. I was like, yeah, you know, I feel good. I'm setting up. I'm gonna try and like flow through this, and then I did. It was like. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Kind of scared from my shoulder for a second, but it's okay. Yeah, so I already had the idea to add a foot, and then you guys were like, maybe it works anyway, and then like Nick and did the sketchiest fall. So I feel like my intuition was right there to like add a foot to kind of replace the big pinch that was there. So I'm gonna add this one because it's not like you can grab it or anything. It's just like to to create a nice pinch. But it's kind of nice because now I can add it wherever I want. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> We've uh, have not gone full circle. That now it's set in a way that I have to do the beta exactly the way that Vivi wanted me to do it. So I think she's a she's a happy root setter right now. I was like super unsure when I set it, but it was also because I set it so hard that I couldn't even like try the moves myself. Now with a bit of tweaking, I feel like it's really really nice, and I'm really happy with it. But I feel like that's sort of. A thing I don't know if like other new root sitters can relate, but like you have like this clear vision of how things are gonna turn out, and then you have to do some tweaks. But then in the end, it like turns out even better than you thought it would be. So you have to showcase your love for me by sending my bolter. Whoa, whoa! No pressure. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is flasher die <laughs> or sender sender die. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to prove my love and dedication. Start looking for housing. <laughs> <laughs> that beta looked really close. I feel like he just needs to yeah. do a couple more goes. I, then. Just had like yeah. a little bit too much force. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was like the start went so much easier this time. Top is pretty full on. It's a nice boulder. I win. You win. I win. You win everything. I win everything. <laughs> like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, send, <laughs> send love. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. This would be nice. <laughs>